Oscar Bevis, IFL TV MTK Global, delighted to be joined in the match and bubble by OP Price. How are you, mate? I'm not too bad. I'm just roaming around the bubble trying to find something to do. <laughs> this is your second bubble, and um, as you say, roaming around. Is it me or does it feel empty? Like I, there's just no one about, and you say roaming around like there ain't much else you can do. As, as much as you can play pool and table tennis, and I saw you taking on Dave at a pool table earlier. There is only so much you can do in it. Yeah, there's only so much you can do in there. You know, um, I think with this one being a bit bigger, fight camp when you was all crammed in, so everyone was all together, and then now obviously there's that many different rooms and things, but there's just nothing to do. Obviously, you, you get bored of keep doing the same thing. So, well, look, you are here to fight and. Uh, is this quite a good experience for what could come in the future in the programme? You had uh, Zaid saying you were meant to fight. You pulled out on Sunday, uh, you told me. You had a replacement that fell through. Now you found a replacement. Just run me through the whole story. But um, yeah, first, is this sort of a good preparation? Because this is the sort of shit that happens in the pros. And, um, like you said, it's the sort of stuff. It, it's boxing for you, do you know what I mean? But um, obviously, it, yeah, it, in one way, it's a blessing in disguise because uh, I've had to deal with it so early in the career that it, it may happen in the future, and then uh, I've experienced a bit, which I'm doing now. Obviously, uh, my first opponent he pulled out, and then they got the replacement, and then I think a day later he pulled out, and then uh, obviously it's frustrating. And then uh, I was just a bit worried, thinking I'm a boxing, I'm not boxing, and then uh, obviously finally we've got an opponent. Is it frustrating as you uh, for you as well? Because you were meant to fight someone with a winning record mm -hmm. in Zaid Hussain. Um, you know, another big step up just shows what sort of faith Eddie and Dave are putting in you. And then your next opponent had. Uh, been in with Navarretti, so you still got someone who's of standard, and you know this guy's no slouch. But you are dropping the level of opponent, and I know you want to fight the best guys you can. Yeah, obviously, uh, I, I was looking forward. Everyone was talking about me taking this big step up, and uh, obviously, I was looking forward to putting on a good show and, and, and really showing the class, you know. But um, obviously, it, it might not be the big step up that I wanted, but um, I still got to keep obviously keep still got to keep keep on form and, and go and do what I was going to do anyways. Like so I never look never overlook at anybody. And uh, as everyone knows, the Mexicans are tough, so uh, I've got to be, got to be um, 100 percent Saturday night. Yeah, that was my next question. Everyone knows anyone from that sort of Mexico, Nicaragua region. They're all just tough as anything, and they always say the game. They're coming for war, and that is that. I suppose what you can expect. Have you, is there any footage of him out there? Even um, I haven't seen nothing of him. To be fair, um, I don't know if Dave has or not. Uh, I don't really watch any opponents, so that, so that's not too much of a difference. But uh, as everybody knows, that they're all tough from from that neck of the woods, and. Uh, Obviously, they all come to fight and come for war, as they say. Uh, but obviously, it's my, it's my job to show them the class and um, obviously out boxing. How have you found life as a pro? Because I feel like it's been weird for you. You had your debut on what we would call a normal show in Manchester with fans. Then you had Saudi Arabia, which isn't your average show. You ain't jetting off to Saudi Arabia fighting every week. Then you've had two bubble shows. You ain't had the normal start to a pro career. But how have you found that sort of... No, I suppose it's been good fun. Loads of different experiences, in it? I say uh, obviously it's it's different to anyone else's. I don't think no one else has had it like that. Uh, in one way, obviously, it, it's better for me because I've boxed on all all of them. It's been all big shows, like you say. But uh, obviously, it's, it was a, a big difference. Obviously, going from my debut where I had say thousand, uh, I sold quite a few, a lot of tickets. So a lot of people come watch me box and uh, get the home support. And then getting off to Saudi Arabia and it was like no one was there. But I'm on the biggest show. Well, what's been, what's been for the past few years and then uh, obviously with the whole pandemic what's going on obviously we didn't box for a long time and then uh, boxing with no crowd at all and then uh, now we're doing that again so it's all good well I can't wait to you said and hopefully we can get this done tomorrow we're going to recap your fight with um, Johnny Phillips yeah. um, because like you said there was loads of bubble antics and that um, obviously a bit more relaxed this time but hopefully we can uh, we can get that in tomorrow um Eddie was saying earlier, and you know, you've had so many positives thrown your way. Outstanding amateur, international experience, world class, going to be world champion, unified. Like people are making out you could be this and that. Do you feel that pressure at all? You don't seem like you do at all. You seem like you're nice and relaxed. You don't. You know what it is? Uh, obviously, people can say what they want, and uh, obviously, it's good, and, uh, and I enjoy all the praise. And if anything, I, I, I like it. You know, um, obviously, it's my job to, to live up to the expectation, but. Uh, I'm fully confident, you know, in in, in my ability, and I, I do be honestly believe that I will get there more so than probably they even believe. So for me, it's just nice adding things, and uh, obviously every time I go out there and perform, I've just got to keep um, keep improving, and uh, one day I, I will be doing things that they keep saying I'm going to be. Do you think about when you might hit title level? Because normally people say like I don't know, 
you normally see the year as like the whole sort of collectivist. I'll do this this year and then next year I'll go for this. Is it next year for titles? Or? Um, for me, obviously, uh, I've learned with the old pandemic that you don't know when your next fight's even going to be. So for me, I just take it one fight at a time and uh, whenever it comes, it comes. But um, I do know I will get there.